Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I did an acrylic pour through this snowflake cookie cutter already. I wasn't totally happy with it though, so I wanted to try again. Um, and what I did was I took a razor and I cut down some of these edges. So for this try, I cut down some more edges actually, and I cut down the ones I'd already cut a little bit more. So that should help the paint flow. I'm also going to start with a white base. So this will be a dirty pour. I'm gonna fill up my cup first, keeping in mind that I am going to be using that white base. So I won't put as much paint in my cup as I would. Let's do white, blue, tiny bit of black. Do some red, cause why not? And then we'll do some purple gold and a little more white. Oh, almost out of the purple. Now this gold seems to make some crazy cells. It's the folk art um, metallics. So just FYI. <laughs> All right, I think that should be plenty. So like I said, I'm gonna start with the wet base with some white. Put my snowflake pretty much right in the middle of that. Whoop. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour through that. Now I will be trying this at some point on a spinner, but right now it's very cold and I can only really use my spinner outside. So we're doing it this way. Okay, already this seems to be working a lot better probably both a combo of the wet base and the fact that I made more holes there to go through. So let it go down a bit. And also with that wet base, we should get some other additional fun effects. Cool. So let's go ahead, we'll let that sit for a minute and it'll just keep draining out there and then we'll come back and we'll tilt it. Okay, so I've got that same star that I had before. So despite cutting the holes a bit differently, it didn't really change that part. I'm going to see if I can maintain the star as much as possible. Last time I wasn't as successful as I wanted to. I'm just stretching it out back and forth here towards the corners. Okay. Well, I'm definitely happier with this one than with the last one. This one at least, I don't know, I like the pattern better. I'm really happy with these colors. And we've got some really cool effects on the sides here. So what we're gonna do is, as usual, we'll let it sit. We'll see anything else that develops. And then we will bring it in for our close-up. All right, we definitely have some lacing along the edges here. So let's go ahead and we'll do our close-up. So starting in the lower right-hand corner, see a little bit of that lacing there. Coming up to the upper right-hand corner. This part in here is just really cool. Upper left hand corner and down to the lower left hand corner with some really cool lacing in there as well. 
And here is our center, which is pretty cool. So there you go. All right, so while I definitely like this one better than the last one, I still really wanna try it on a spinner and hopefully I can keep it, keep the cookie cutter on there and not have it fly off. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you didn't see the original video, I'll post the link down in the description. Tell me which one you guys like better, first or second. And otherwise, I will see you all next time.